Hi all thank you for joining me once again with a new episode on my channel it's been a while since we are back home and i'm taking all time to soak myself in the moments that i missed doing enable oscillation the sense of calm and peace that you experience in your space is real well though the feeling was real the transition was hard from everyone being around to suddenly waking up and seeing just three of us getting back to the same regular thing every day took some time to adjust it was not easy for ruhi too but every adventure or trip ends at some point that's when we look forward to coming home The last two weeks here were all about exploring our old haunts. Be it ordering biryani or going out to dine in the favorite restaurant. I'm also always amazed at all the buildings that spring up while I'm away. Some restaurants close, some new one comes up. Everywhere I go, something has changed. It's sort of like exploring all over again. It seems I come home to the familiar, but I'm still exploring the unknown. I'm making some healthy egg muffins loaded with veggies that we will be having it with toasted herb breads that I have ordered from Living Food. I always venture out to some healthy and quick breakfast that can save my time on busy days. Well, eggs and breads are saviors on such days. As the days passed, life got simplified, and the little one was found more and more with mama to kill her bouts of boredom. This time, we cooked a lot and munched while taking it slow to stage the house back to its form. She is always anxious to stir, perched on a stool, or digging the drawers, <laughs> even clinging to my hip. Kitchen is a place where many memories are made along with food. These muffins are super healthy, yummy, and easy to make. In a bowl, add two eggs. It will make roughly about six muffins. Add veggies of your choice. Here, I have added spinach, mushrooms, and onions. For seasoning, add salt and black pepper powder. Give it a good stir. Half fill the muffin pans. Top it up with cheese and let it bake for 20 minutes. Okay, don't forget to preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. What is the situation like? Uh, it is uh, it's uh, uh, I understand you're not back in the city yet. What is holding my own? 
Well, he's the one. He was the one who was using you as a f***. That's what it is. Then I will just check the more and more frequently. It's time to toast the breads. The aroma of the herb breads and the baked egg muffins were actually making each one of us more and more hungry. The first job I do after returning from a trip is to empty my suitcases and start organizing slowly as and when time permits. This sous rack needed much attention. So today I decided to tackle this long pending job. Every growing child needs the right balance of vitamins and nutrients, many of which they don't get in most meals. I recently found a way to keep my child's nutritional intake in check. A friend recommended me a brand called Little Joys, a health and wellness brand with products created especially for children. They had several interesting products, but I decided to first try out these multivitamin gummies. In the form of yummy teddy bear shaped strawberry flavored chewable gummies, Little Joyce provides nutrition of 12 essential vitamins and minerals, 6 fruits and a rainbow full of veggies. It boosts the bone health, brain health, eyesight, immunity, hair and skin. You would be surprised to note that each gummy contains the goodness of 3 cups of spinach, 2 apple, 10 carrots and 5 cups of broccoli. Did you know that 3 fourth of the packaged goods available in the market contain added sugar? However, these gummies from Little Joys contain no added sugar. In fact, I checked all their claims twice and it's true. Most gummies available in the market contain maltodextrin and high fructose corn syrup that causes kids to have nasty sugar rushes and unhealthy weight changes. But not this one. These are yummy gummy sugar free and fully safe for kids. One gummy a day for kids 4 years and older. In fact, it has become a ritual now at our home to have one gummy a day after breakfast. As a working mom, it's hard for me to cook for my children who are picky eaters. 
लिटिल जॉयज मल्टीविटामिन गमीज हैव बीन अ सेवियर फॉर माई चाइल्ड हेल्थ इट प्रोवाइड्स देयर डेली डोज ऑफ न्यूट्रिय थ्रू वन टेडी बेर शेप्ड गमीज डेफिनेटली रिकमेंड दिस टू ऑल मॉमीज एंड आर सेफ टू कंज्यूम लिटिल जॉयज इज द ओनली वन स्टॉप होलिस्टिक सोल्यूशन विच इज डेवलप्ड बाई पेडियाट्रिशियंस लव बाई किड्स एंड अप्रूव बाई मदर्स विजिट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो टू परचेज दीज गमीज एंड अवेल सम स्पेशल डिस्काउंट ऑन योर परचेजेस Well, back to action and resuming my half left job. When you have kids around, you know, we can't avoid that constant interruptions. Well, that's how a mom's life goes on. You get no time to sit. Most of the jobs are half done. It's crazy most of the times. But there is no way out. I have realized one thing the more they grow the chances of facing new challenges increases exponentially Last year I used to stress out a lot and wanted everything perfect. The impact was seen on my health. So, now I am prioritizing and training my mind to have control over my emotions. Maybe I should start a yoga class soon. Finally, the most pending task was wrapped up. Now I can have some peace of mind. It's almost lunch time. We'll quickly make some vegetable pulao with bundi raita and have it with leftover mushrooms. I have already chopped the veggies night before as I had plans to organize the surat. Only the potatoes and onions were needed to be cut. For the pulao, add one tablespoon of ghee to the hot cooker. Once the ghee starts melting, add one tablespoon of oil to the hot. 
ऑयल एंड घी एड होल स्पाइसिस जीरा स्टार एनीज ब्लैक कैडमम ग्रीन कैडमम सिनेमन स्टिक्स ब्लैक पेपर कॉर्न जायत्री एंड अ वेरी लिटिल क्रस्ट जायफल वंस दिस स्टार्ट प्लेटरिंग एंड द अनियन लिटिल सॉल्ट टू प्रिवेंट द अनियन फ्रॉम बर्निंग यू कैन एड और स्किप द स्लेट ग्रीन चिलीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर टेस्ट Meanwhile I will shallow fry some cashews and mini soya chunks. Once the onions changes their color add 2 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. add water if needed to avoid the masalas sticking to the cooker add haldi powder red chili powder and garam masala powder stir and cook it for 5 more minutes when the raw smell subsides and the masala leaves the oil it's time to add the cut veggies make sure the size of the veggies are same so that they get cooked uniformly in a medium flame half cover the lid and cook until the water from the veggies dry out time to add the rice do measure and add it Stir it for 2 more minutes and add hot water in the ratio of 1 is to 2. 1 cup of rice will need 2 cups of water. Check the seasoning and add salt if required. Wrap it up with a dash of ghee and most important masala that I make at home and store it. Basically taking all the whole spices mentioned above frying it in a pan and storing it grounded. It makes all the difference to the pulao. Cook it on high flame for 2 whistles and let it rest till all the gas is out. Finally the lunch is ready. I'm going to enjoy my meal. Hope you enjoyed watching this short film. If so, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of all my uploads. Give it a like if the content was worth and do pour your heart out in the comment section. Meet you soon in the next one. Till then, have a great week. Bye bye. Aur aapke naam ka hai wo aap se